CIS Mobile has developed the AltOS Secure Mobility Platform for governments. Today we're going to look at the management system. First a word about the AltOS Secure Mobility Platform. We deliver mobile phones that are based on a modified version of the Android operating system. CIS has designed a number of security enhancements and services that protect government users from typical threats that they would face in their day-to-day -day work. The management server allows the government customers to define policies and control the behaviors of the mobile devices that they're managing. We're going to talk about that today. We're also going to talk briefly about the over-the-air update server. That's the piece that customers use to deploy monthly security patches to keep their devices secure. First, a very brief overview of the system architecture. On the left is the management servers, and there's a number of components inside the server. The management itself, there's a cloud messaging system which is hosted in your virtual machine, a file server which you might run, or a bucket sitting in an Amazon cloud, for example, and then there's the over-the-air update server. Our customers control their servers. We typically deliver the software to them, and they set that up and run it themselves or run it in their private cloud. On the right are the components of the mobile device. We sit on top of a consumer off-the-shelf smartphone, like a Pixel 3a, for example. On top of that, we've added a modification of the operating system, the AltOS operating system. It's based on Android, but as I mentioned before, it has a number of security capabilities. And then on top of that will be specific containers that each operate as an independent phone within the single physical device. Now let's look at the management server. The AltOS dashboard shows you the sort of events that you would expect to see in a mobile device management system. The dashboard shows things like current issues, events that might be affecting individual devices, and other information that is relevant to operating a large set of mobile devices. The organization tab lets you import your users and manage them in various groups. The Apps tab shows you your own internal application catalog. These are your organization's approved apps and you're going to be able to push them out to your mobile devices when we set up a policy in a minute. We'll switch over and look at the policies now. First we'll look at the CIS Mobile Owners Policy. This is typical of the sort of system that you would deploy to mobile users. There are a number of capabilities highlighted by these tabs inside the policy. The first thing you'll see is that you can define the background and icons to identify your space to your user. The Attributes tab shows you some of the very fine-grained security controls that you, the administrator, can use to deploy and manage your mobile devices. Here we can configure whether the owner space on the device, that's the first container that a user would typically open, is allowed to have access to NFC, SMS messaging, whether you can take a screenshot, whether you're allowed to share information from that one container to another container on the device, whether you're allowed to mount physical media, if you can use USB, even things like Bluetooth, microphone, outgoing calls. The policy manager lets you control very, very fine-grained features of each individual user container. The Apps and Files tab lets you configure which applications will be installed into the device. Here we've imported four Office applications and so these will appear inside the user's phone as soon as it's configured. We can also decide whether or not to allow the user to install other applications and whether to allow use of the Play Store. Under the security settings you can enforce password types, password complexity, password length. You can also configure the use of a VPN from here. So I would select a particular VPN to be applied, add that to the device, add a configuration file for that VPN so that the user doesn't need to do anything, and even enforce that that VPN will always be running when the user is using the phone, so that all traffic from that container will terminate in a server of your choosing, and it will be encrypted from point to point. There are a number of device-wide controls that you can configure from here too. For example, we might choose to disable the camera device-wide, disable Wi-Fi device-wide, or even disable cellular device-wide. Finally, under the Network tab, you'll see that we have some very, very strong controls over networking capabilities. For example, we can configure this phone to only connect to a particular private access point. In this case, we chose the FirstNet system. It's also possible to configure the device to only connect to LTE networks, for example. 
When you've finished configuring the policy, simply save it. To provision a policy onto a set of your users' phones, you simply create an invitation, which I'll do now, and I'll call it our general use policy, and I'll select one of the policies to send out. In this case, I'll choose a work from home policy, and you'll see that the new general use policy has been created. Now, I simply select the devices in my organization that are going to receive the new policy. So I could select them all, or I could select a subset, and provision that invitation, which we just created, onto those devices. And so currently the new spaces with the policies that we were configuring are being sent out to those three devices. Within a minute or so, the devices will be configured, the applications will be installed, the new security rules will be effective in those containers, and the users will be able to open them up and get to work. Taking a closer look at the Devices tab, you'll see we can enforce a number of actions on our devices. We can reboot it, we can actually wipe it and return it to factory settings, and we can do a connectivity check. So currently the server is reaching out to my personal device to see if it's there, and sure enough it is. So to summarize, I gave you a brief introduction to the AltOS management server. We looked at how to import users, configure a policy to apply to their phones, and then we push that policy out to a subset of our users. That new container has now been created on the phone and the user is able to go in and work with the set of applications under the rules that we chose to enforce for those devices. Just a word about CIS Mobile. We're a wholly owned subsidiary of CIS Secure, which is a defense contractor based in Washington, D.C. We focus specifically on secure government mobility systems and we have customers in the defense, intelligence, and special operations communities. If you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule a demonstration or a pilot project of your own, please contact us at sales at cismobile.com.